Much more than just a landscape artist, Dr. Ottle was a teacher, a political activist, an inventor of new media, and the original instigator of the Mexican muralist movement. An understanding of Dr. Ottle's background and his work is critical in understanding the development of Mexican art during the first half of the 20th century, specifically the Mexican muralist movement. Murillo Gerardo was born in Mexico in 1875. From an early age, the artist was said to have displayed a great amount of national pride and a strong allegiance to his indigenous Mexican culture, so much so that he adopted the name Otto, which means water in the Aztec language of Nahuatl. This appreciation for his Mexican heritage would later be reflected in his expressive landscape paintings that boast images of powerful volcanoes and endless horizons. But before Otto could express his national pride through his artwork, he required direction. He enrolled in the Academy of San Carlos in Mexico City, where he was taught under the direction of professors who prescribed to the belief that all great art was produced by the old European masters. Later on, when teaching his own students, Otto would stress the importance of innovation and rejected the idea that only the European school could produce great work. After receiving formal training at San Carlos, Adol traveled abroad to Europe on a trip funded by the Mexican government. During this time, Dr. Adol spent a considerable amount of time between Paris and Rome. In Paris, he studied the work of the Impressionists, while in Rome, he studied frescoes that dated back to the Renaissance. While both styles were drastically different, they would prove to be influential in his work later on. Otto returned to Mexico in 1903, fully convinced that Mexican art needed to be brought into modernity. His first great work was a mural, completed in 1908, which he painted using Otto color, a water-based media he created. Although the mural does not survive to this day, it, serves, it served as an important example for future Mexican muralists. Additionally, it was the first large-scale work made of Otto's own encaustic paint which highlighted his inventiveness. Inspired by the atmosphere brought upon by the Mexican Revolution, Dr. Otto taught his students to create works that push boundaries. Drawing on his studies in Italy, he also emphasized the importance of frescoes and murals. Among his most famous students were Diego Rivera, of David Siqueiros, and Jose Orozco, all of whom will later paint some of the most important examples of murals in Mexican art. Without Otto's influence, it is doubtful that these artists would have created such impactful works. As the years went on, Dr. Otto began to focus on his own artwork as opposed to teaching others. His work centered around the Mexican landscape, focusing mainly on the powerful volcanoes that dotted the terrain. Through his depictions of the ferociousness of the Mexican landscape, he reflects his belief that his country was not reliant on European ideals or establishment. His bold marks allude to Mexico's untapped power and his refusal to follow the strict techniques taught at the Academy of San Carlos. The volcanoes represent the strength bubbling within Mexico's native people. Al Adel's adamant faith in the power of the Mexican people was a belief that he passed on to his students and is reflected in their work as well. In conclusion, Dr. Adel deserves the same level of recognition that is given to his more famous students, such as Diego Rivera. Had it not been for this loyal patriot and passionate instructor, the Mexican muralist movement may not have been, may not have been, and the future of Mexican artwork may have been radically different. <laughs>